Welcome back, guys, to Trails to Azure, where with Bitter Burgers made free, got, we are here at Nine Valley to, of course, trade very quickly and very slowly for an acerbic Tamartian, even though it seems that we can't really put stuff in Kia's room for some reason or other at this point in time, an unusual doll of unknown make has been obtained. As we now continue on, chapter three, Day one, I have done nothing since last time because, of course, we're doing sessions back to back in a few hours, kind of like apart from them, in a sense. So that's the thing. No carry forward of a scan. I just guess that wasn't to be that silly penguin that went and died. And now we continue our sweep with cryptids on the beat. We haven't done any of our support requests for the day. A taste of Crossbell, of course, is waiting for us. At the reception desk in the Harbour District of the Crossbow News. So, let's continue our patrol from the Harbour District. Maybe we'll get Crossbell done first this time before going out further afield. There are quests to be seen here, after all. So it begins again. Big old Crossbell sweeps. Is there no one walking around? Oh, there is. She's just very slow about it. It's almost time for Arkansas's revival performance. They just revealed the new cast member they're debuting too. I can't stop thinking about it. Arkansas added a new girl to the cast named Sully. The real surprise is that she's still young enough to be attending Sunday school. But does she? Let's check her away. I wonder what they did with uh, the people they caught. It's, it's still the thing, isn't it? The Imperial... Liberation Front got completely slaughtered, apart from one member, which we took in. I don't know what happened to that guy. Um, by the Red Constellation. But you can't necessarily think that the fate <laughs> of the anti-immigration terrorists of Calvert would be necessarily any better. Deported, taken away, then what happened? An example made? I knew Mayor Croix could dream up some crazy ideas, but independence is radical, even for him. That said, I can respect his can-do attitude. Fortune favors the bold, you know. You've got to take risks and challenge yourself to come out in front. Don't expect to get anywhere in life if you don't take bold risks. Be in the world of politics or the path of the humble noodle. Humble noodle path indeed, you say, sir. Just realize there's less people on the patrol in the first place because there's no police anymore. I think I'll do two more deliveries before going on my lunch break. Uh, you know what? Putting it that way actually makes me feel extra motivated. Just two more until lunch. Two more until lunch. I like to do this. I like to, like, set myself a goal before I can do a nice thing. My wife does it as well with chores. Like, I have to do chores before I do a nice thing. Welcome to the Crossbell News Service. Ah, oh, hello there, SSS. Are you here on official business? Good morning. Yeah, we came to follow up on a support request from the CNS. It was something about needing help with a gourmet guide. Of course, thank you all for coming. Are you able to start the request right away? <laughs> our stomach, our stomachs are ready. <laughs> what does it actually entail? Sure, our first quest of the day. Yeah, we can begin whenever. Understood. If I could just have you wait on the second floor then, the staff member in charge of the request will tell you the details. Hello, hello, my dearest SSS. Sorry to keep you waiting. I had a feeling it was going to be you, Grace. The probability was high from the start. Oh, don't sound so disappointed. Can't you show at least a little enthusiasm? It's been forever since our last collaboration. <laughs> if I recall correctly, your previous support request sent us on a trip all across the state. Wait, just what are you planning to have us do this time? The request said something about gathering material for a gourmet guide, no? You know it. I got a proposal from the Crossbell Business Owners Association a while back. Apparently, they were inspired by Mayor Croix's efforts. Long story short, the CNS is teaming up with them to put out a gourmet guide. In conjunction with the Business Owners Association. What exactly does that it entail? Basically, they plan to feature the best eating establishments in Crossbell State. And in addition to the coverage, each place is going to offer discounts and other deals to readers. You know how it is, keep Crossbell and Mira local and all that jazz. Pretty nifty little plan, wouldn't you say? I think I get it. That sounds pretty innovative. Sure, but let's cut to the chase. Part of this guide is going to feature gourmet recommendations from some of Crossbell's most prominent figures, like Mary Bell Croix from the IBC, for example, or Ilya, Theodore, and Eugene from Mark and CL. The goal is to get people talking by having some of the Crossbell's celebrity citizens share their number one picks. 
And that's where the SSS comes in. You'll be taking part two. That is quite the request. I can't deny that it's piqued my interest. But does the SSS really belong in a lineup like that? I ain't too keen on it either. It's always nice to be shoulder to shoulder with Ilya and Maribel, don't get me wrong. But I don't think we're going to be drawing in readers the same way they will. Let's not mince words here. We're the filler. No way. You can't seriously think that, can you? You guys have been blowing up. You've got a real fan base these days, you know? In fact, we've been getting lots of requests for lurid candidates of your everyday lives. Please don't. <laughs> I'm just joking. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that you guys are popular in your own right. If that wasn't the case, I never would have asked you here in the first place. Fair enough. What would you like us to do then? Uh, As you on board? Good. Now let's... Let me give you the deets. Sure. First, you're going to head to whatever restaurants or food carts you can think of and try their fare for yourselves. What I want is for each of you to find a dish that speaks to your soul. It's got to be the bee's knees and nothing less. After that, I'll have you all write a little article on your findings here at the CNS. So we have to go to eateries around the state and choose our personal favourites among them. One problem though, what if one of us doesn't come across anything they like? Have some faith, Noel. You know how big Croswell is. I'm sure you can find at least one thing that tickles your taste buds. But if it really comes to that, I'll just have you write a little something about all the spots you checked out. But that's only as a last resort. Ideally, all six of you should have a favourite dish to introduce to our readers. Which means we're headed to at least six different places. Anything we should look out for? Or avoid, maybe? Uh, let me think. Oh yeah, sorry, but everything at Michelin has already been covered. <laughs> it's good. And someone else is doing the bars. Other than that, knock yourselves out. What a shame. That takes Trinity off the list too. Too bad, I'm sure Abbas will be disappointed to miss out on all those potential new customers. Sorry, Wazi. I'll put in a word for it with the guys handling the bars. Oh, and I've already gotten in contact with all the eligible spots. So don't worry about the tab. We're paying. As long as you identify yourselves, they'll be happy to serve you their signature samples. That sounds lovely. So we just have to try six places minimum, excluding bars or anything in Michelin. The main challenge is going to be pacing ourselves. We need to eat quite a lot for every one of us to find a favourite. Yeah, there's no rush. Take your time and save everything Croswell has to offer. Once you're all done, return to the CNS so you can report your findings. If I'm not in, just let Trio know and I'll get back to the office in a jiff. Got it. We'll get started then. A taste of Crossbell has started. Can't go back up again, obviously. I don't ever want to talk to you again now. I can just talk to you, right? Yeah. Have fun doing your research for the Gourmet Guide, everyone. You'll get to try out all kinds of delicious food, so I'm sure you'll enjoy it. So something tells me... More to the point that it also referenced the quest, you know what I mean? And the fact that it's on a long means that we might not actually be able to do everything today. But we'll find out more as we uh, approach. We're supposed to sample at least six, though. It's all back issues, isn't it? Each of our reporters covers a massive laundry list of subjects, from social issues like politics and business to lifestyle topics like culture and entertainment. Usually bigger agencies will assign people to whatever categories they specialize in and divvy up the workload. But here we've only got a few staffers and a focus on speedy reporting. Any one of us has to be ready to cover pretty much anything. We've got material on three different stories coming in this afternoon, but I still have some work left to do on my column. Guess I might as well finish that up while I'm free. So I look at it then, we should backtrack a second through the places we've already been. Anywhere that sells food. Hey, yeah, you should try the best noodles in the land. You're in the right place. Yeah, I guess so. We're with the special sports section and we're here about a request. The SSS explained their mission to gather gourmet recommendations. Oh yeah, that whole deal. You're in luck, officers. I'm about to let you sample the very best my car has to offer and best of all, it's on the house. I call these my heavenly noodles. Eat up, ladies and gents. What a comforting presentation. That deep red broth tells me this is going to have a kick. And maybe a punch in the chop while it's at it. Ah, oh, come on, give it a chance. Was it a Parappa the Rapper deal dish then? Get past the heat and your taste buds will be flying right up on cloud nine. It'll probably feel more like Gehenna instead if our tongues are on fire. Well, well here goes nothing. Lloyd and the others ate the heavenly noodles. Hey, you're right. It's spicy, but with a deep, complex tang. I won't deny that it's delicious. My only concern is how hard it is to eat without splashing the broth everywhere. Good, good point. I don't think that'd be an easy stain to get out. 
Ah, uh, it's always the ladies that are telling me these things. I say that if you get to enjoy the best darn noodles under Adus' sky, then who cares about a few stains? Damn straight. Randy? There's a whole world of rich flavors just beyond this bowl's spicy horizons. Combine that with these perfect supple noodles dancing in the broth, and you've got something only a real man could appreciate. This is it, Ozel, my man. This is the path of the noodle you've been telling us about. Yes, you finally get it now. Cherish it, young one. That's true enlightenment you're tasting. As for reward, I shall teach you the recipe that serves as the foundation for these very same noodles. Master it, and open the eyes of all your friends. That's the first time we got a recipe outside of a book, I think. Hey, thanks, Ozel. Randy was really into that dish. I guess that's Elsie's who's writing the piece about this place. Ah, I'm glad there's at least one of you who shows some promise. Use that recipe I gave you to strive for even greater heights of noodle ascendancy. Are we cheering you on from the mountains up? That makes me beg the question, how many recipes are we at currently? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, only eight missing. I am surprised. Peddler's noodles is right at the top. It needs tomatoes. Something tells me I'll fail. A hundred... A, a pop tomatoes? Boo! Boo! Dang, game's almost over already then, yeah, true. Sure. Alright, uh, obviously, our next food place to visit should be... Now, who do I speak to about this? I feel like I should speak to you. Can I help you? If you want to place an order, go to the counter. So, but we're actually here regarding a support request. The SSS explained their mission to gather gourmet recommendations. Ah, the gourmet guide. Yes, I know of it. This is our midday rush, but I won't turn you away. Find yourself an empty table. You'll be sampling the pride and joy of Long Lao, my peerless fried rice. Oh man, I can't wait. Sounds great. We'll go grab some open sh seats. Lloyd and the team ate the peerless fried rice. Delicious. Phew, you really know your stuff, Zhanghui. Don't think you'd be able to get a masterpiece like this anywhere but Long Lao. You'd better believe it. Fried rice has always been one of my specialties, but I also recently improved upon it. That is why it is peerless. Nothing compares. Oh, wow, you aren't kidding. Who would have ever thought a dish so simple could taste so complex? <laughs> I used to make fried rice all the time at the barracks, but it's a totally different dish when made by a professional. Don't forget to swallow. Damn. Look at her shovel it down the hatch. So long as she enjoys the food, I couldn't care less how she eats it. Would you like seconds? I made plenty to spare. Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> I've never seen Noelle like this. She's like a kid in the middle of a growth spurt. I think we know who's going to handle Long Lao's right up. It's all yours, Noelle. How do I have so many what's shells? Twenty-two. I don't know from the streets. <laughs> it's probably the correct answer. I'm getting mine from the streets. If you enjoyed the fried rice that much, then it was worth making. Come again anytime you want another helping of my food. Why, is it hard to get them? <laughs> I wouldn't afford it is. You should know gourmet places. Right, so a boss's place doesn't count. There's no other food establishment on this road. I mean, there's Din's Fresh, which sells food. So I guess out of the places we've already been thus far, it's just a uh, thing set. It's amazing how you start to remember the names of these places, isn't it? I miss this. I know it was late last night, like we were like midnight, but still. New item, herb pasta, fresh herbs, nostalgic flavor. Well, that's another recipe get. Don't do patrols when you're tired, I guess. Ah, oh, voice officer's a genius. Wait, he's not talking to you for it. Okay. He's not talking to you either. Surely? So it must be you? Oh, yeah, because there's the reception desk, of course. Why wouldn't we go there? Good day, everyone. Welcome to Ving Set. Do you have a reservation with us? 
Well, not exactly, but with the special support section and... The SSS explained their mission to gather gourmet recommendations. Oh, I've heard about that. So you're the ones writing the report, are you? Well then, please feel free to sit at any open table you like. If I may make a recommendation, our new seasonal herb pasta is absolutely superb. Thank you. We'd love to try it. I mean, the thing I just picked up. So it's actually brand new. Lloyd and the others seated themselves and sampled the herb pasta. Nom, nom, nom. Well, how'd you like our chef's speciality pasta? Oh, this is delicious. The flavor is rich and intense, but with a light, refreshing afternote. You can taste each and every herb, and the texture is perfectly al dente. Oh, yeah. Spaghetti in a can. This ain't one bite, and you know it was made by a pro. I'm glad you all enjoyed it. Hey, we should bring Kia with us next time. Sounds like a good idea to me. Thank you for dining with us today. On behalf of all of us at Vinkcept, we look forward to your next visit. So who's the person doing it for this one? We hope to see you all again soon. Well, I got another recipe. That is nice. So to continue this trail, we may as well continue our patrol because the harbor's already done. West Street. Because there's literally Morg's Bakery right here, right? Mum was helping out with her family store today. And this sucks. There's barely anything fun to do if all I have is Anri. Hey, I'm standing right here, are you? Oh, yeah, I noticed Kia's been cut it down lately. Maybe I should invite you to play with us next time. Spare when Momo's around, because then we have a lot more games to pick from. Too bad she has to help out at home today. We'll have to make do without her. Mayor's bid for Crossbell and Independence is no easy issue. For every pro, there's a con. Maybe I should ask Pruner and Lena Lee what they think. Or maybe not. They'd probably just say something like, Oh my gosh, there's like a total door snore. <laughs> Where are we? Uh, yeah, you should definitely... Maybe I should read the latest issue of the Crossbell Times before a better opinion. Maybe, but that's still a... You need to... That's the thing. You need to take stuff from multiple sources. You can't just take it from one. Not just one. You need a, a scope to then cut through everything. Oscar looked so proud when my bread finally got chosen over his. This is all wrong. I wanted to see him suffer like a man with a wheat allergy. <laughs> Damn you, Oscar. But Bennett knows how to assassinate those with wheat allergies. Why did Oscar have to look so damn happy eating my bread? He should be writhing in jealousy. Oh, I can't stand him. Bennett weaponizes bread. Oh, hey Lloyd, what's up? Bennett baked up a batch of the newest creation. Here, give it a try. Bennett's supreme. Thanks, Oscar. We'll make sure to enjoy it later. But if you wouldn't mind, we actually came to get your help on our support request. The SSS explained their mission to gather gourmet recommendations. Oh, so that's what they're having you do, huh? Well, I'm flat. Honestly, I wish I could recommend all of our breads. But if I had to pick just one, it'd have to be the Bennett Supreme I just gave you. Wow, really? Yep, wish I could recommend my own, but Bennett really nailed it this month. If you're looking for Morg's finest loaf, this is the one. Uh, hold on just a second. Oh, hey, Bennett. I was just in the middle of recommending your... What in Adius's name do you think you're doing? I'm not done refining that one yet. I am not letting my bread go into that gourmet guide until it's at least twice as good as yours. <laughs> what are you freaking out about? It's already delicious if you ask me. Wh whatever. Just don't let me catch you shilling my stuff for me without my say-so again. Got it? Man, I don't get why she always has to go ballistic on me like this. All I said was that her bread was good. Therein lies your answer, my good man. Guess Lloyd wasn't the only lady killer growing up around these parts. Anyway, seeing as Bennett's completely against it, could you maybe recommend something else? I guess I'm gonna have to. Alright, how about this? It's my latest creation, the Tender Cutlet Sandwich. The SSS ate the Tender Cutlet Sandwich. Wow, this really melts in your mouth. Yeah, and this sauce is something else. Great work, Oscar. Ah, thanks, buddy. I'm still developing, though, so it'll be a while before we actually have it on our shelves. That's a shame. Would it be better not to mention it in the article? Eh, it's up to you, but I promise to hook you up with the final version once it's done. We'll certainly be looking forward to it. Tender Color Sandwich is still in development, so it's not quite for sale just yet. That's why I suggested Bennett's bread for the guide instead. You'd think it was a compliment, but man, I just don't get women. You never will. Why does Oscar get off trying to recommend my bread to a gourmet guide? Seriously, I know for a fact that it was supposed to be a dig at me. Somehow. 
It's complex. Ben was the one who bought up this month's new bread, right? Strawberries and cream all nestled in a nice soft bun. How can I say no to that? It's so affordable and the simple ingredients really make it stand out compared to a last one. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to dig in. It's just adorable. I don't think I'll be able to eat just one. Sounds more like a pastry than a bread. Oscar's been my apprentice for a long time now. So long that I think Bennett has begun taking a liking to him. Uh, who knows? Oscar might just get a promotion from apprentice to son-in-law someday. Morg sees it! I, for one, wouldn't mind seeing my apprentice become the heir to the family name too. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> So we get family here, we bake bread. And then we bake more? You're looking really fired up, Ken. You bet I do. Today's the day I'm finally going to play with him. Him who? The black cat that's always hanging around the neighbor. Let me know if you see him, okay? <gasps> A kitty cat. Wait, but are we supposed to go shopping for mum right now? Oh yeah, good thinking, Nana. We could buy some cat food to lure him out. Stop kidding around. She gave us this mirror to buy veggies. Do they mean cop? That's what we get from Ken and Nana. Whenever Dad comes home from a trip, he goes straight to bed and passes out. That dummy doesn't realize he's only going to dirty the sheets if he doesn't change out of his clothes. <laughs> oh, enough of be feeling a lying in your own bed. At this rate, I'm liable to conk out for the whole rest of the day. But cop is green, I know, right? I was going to ask Ryu to help me with my work today, but that little devil slipped outside before I even noticed. He's turning into one heck of an escape artist. You mean he just went out and played like a precocious young boy? You probably should. They're going to be holding a referendum on the propriety of, uh, Cosmel and Independence. It's a touchy subject, so I plan on taking things out with Mars before I decide how I'll vote. The options here are far from black and white. It's best that we be as informed as we can. I'm going to talk things out with Miles before I decide how to vote. The options here are far from black and white. Yep. Best you are informed. You need to talk. You need to research. It's weird. I just caught myself then saying, Oh yes, a young boy should go out and be playing in the outdoors. And I'm just like, oh my god. That's just how I grew up because games were just starting then. Like I only got my first console when I was like 10-ish or so. <laughs> I mean, that's still early. But that was a Mega Drive. Well, I play football every day. It's like nowadays, that's... Uh, I don't know if going out to play is really the most popular thing for kids. Especially because it's like... Gets more kind of... Worrisome going out all the time. I don't know. I went to the sandbar and us on the road to take some pictures the other day. I ended up coming across some kind of tunnel that led even farther down the shore. It looked dangerous, so I didn't risk exploring it. But I can't help wondering what might be in there. I found a secret pathway that led further down the sandbar on us the road. Yeah, that's where we gotta go. You, you do not want to go there yourself, though. Please do not. I don't know what's going on in my husband's head. He had the nerve to ask if I would go for a drive with him. What no? Was that supposed to be his attempt at an apology? I tried inviting my wife out for a relaxing drive tomorrow. I was hoping he might show her I care. Fingers crossed it puts her in a better mood. Yeah, also for places to hang out, becoming a rare thing. Yeah, safe safe places, parks, etc. I mean, not said that there's usually a lot of great places in villages. I grew up in a village. I've been feeling so much more relaxed since the unveiling ceremony. Now I can get Orca's Tower off my mind and focus on broadening my horizons with different projects. I think I'll brew Kendall some coffee to help him power through his work. This Liberlian blend has a lovely aroma that sure to perk him up. And I've uh, lived in places where literally the local hangout for kids would be a, a supermarket car park. Like, that is the height of the area. Do you know what I mean? It's just... <laughs> I'd rather stay in and play games. That is the console prior to the Genesis. No, the Mega Drive is the Genesis, but it's the uh, European name. Argon CL's revival performance is debuting soon, and guess what? Sully, the tenant on the third floor, is one of the stars. This is going to be her big break for sure. 
I'm so excited for it. I just wish I could to actually go. Ah, I want to go see Sully's big debut so badly, but I missed my chance to buy a ticket. Ah. It was an older console before? Yes, the Master System. Uh, frames. Alright then, let's keep on sweeping. Well, but my mum and dad were the store today. I wish I could just have fun all the time, but I guess all play and no work is bad for you. I'm in favor of breaking away from Erebonia and Calvert, but at the cost of making them our enemies, that's a harder sell. If only there was some peaceful way to resolve this. I'm in favor of Crossbell's independence, but I'm also scared that Erebonia and Calvert would retaliate. We've got to think they wouldn't on the basis of being measured. So we can buy Sunshine and Agnes Chapter 2. We've already bought this. That's new. And that's expensive. My god. 5,000? I'm already having a money issue. A mini velo bike. <laughs> You forgot what the console before Genesis was called? I said, it was the Master System. <laughs> Talis and I have had a lot of discussions about state independence since the trade conference. This is a problem that concerns every crossbellum, one that calls for as much careful consideration as we can give. All right, let's speak to Mr. Grimwood. Maybe he's got something to talk about the West Samaria trade conference that took place after all. Oh, hey, SSS. You looking for Mr. Grimwood? He's hard at work in his room on the second floor right now. He's been very busy lately, hasn't he? Really? I guess I didn't notice. Yes, well, there's a reason for that. The mayor asked him to draft up a preliminary constitution for if Crossbell really does become independent. What? A constitution, as in separate from our autonomous state law. Constitutions are basic outlines of fundamental principles used to provide a legal basis for the creation of a political entity. They establish the precedents and structures under which a governing body will operate. That includes sovereignty free from external interference. Drafting a constitution is an indispensable step in achieving recognition as a nation. Not gonna lie, some of that went over my head. Okay, most of it. Hardly surprising. That would be why a specialist like Mr. Grimwood was called in. Grizzly Grimm's work is international, after all. It's only natural he found himself on Croix's orbital speed dial. Exactly. If anyone can draft Crossbell a new constitution, it's Mr. Grimwood. Would you mind telling him hello for us then, Pete? Say the SSS is room for him? No problem. I'm sure he'll love that. May ask Mr. Grimwood to draft a preliminary constitution. If anyone can do it, it's him. Hey, I'm up. That's a great idea. Especially because it will be an up to date constitution and one not uh, made in yesteryear's eyes that might need a. Maybe. A little bit of editing. But then I'm. Uh, I'm from the UK, so what can I say? It's like laws need updating. To fit modern times. It's weird. Ah, the oven's not working. And just after Sophia taught me how to bake cookies, doesn't look like I'll be baking anything today at all. Ah, of course her oven goes on the fritz right when Sophia teaches me how to bake cookies. What am I supposed to do now? Steal an oven. Residential district. I believe it would be for the best if Crossbell establishes independence. But that's easier said than done with Aerobonia and Calvard breathing down our necks. Perhaps Mayor Croix was a has a plan of some sort to circumvent that. I believe it would be best for if Crossbell established his independence, but doing so wouldn't be without its challenges. Maybe he does have a plan. I mean, you've got you've got to have something ballsy if you're going to say that after everything that happened at that trade conference. I was at some business executives' party last night when the topic of independence came up. Well, I didn't have a damn clue what they were talking about. It felt like they were speaking in another language. Guess I should ask Granny about it. Maybe study up a little on the side. Good man. I'm gonna tumble out of high society head first if I can't follow current events. I think I'll ask Granny about this whole independence deal. I don't think I'm missing anything. I can't believe that thing cost 5k. The chief of Armorica village called Harold over this morning. He wanted to discuss something, but it didn't sound like a business negotiation. I wonder what it could be. So you were discussing something with Harold? Papa's supposed to have the day off, but he still went off somewhere. Is he working anyway? Why? Papa promised he would play me today, too. What happened? 
I don't know. Maybe we should head off that way next. We can literally find out. But to be honest, I guess I want to head out there because that's one of the directions where a cryptid is, isn't it? Maybe we should go for the uh, mines monster, isn't it? Oh, they're not here. They left the door open? Maybe they're upstairs. Quick, rub the house! So the uh, high bloods, whatever they're called, I can't remember now. They're out and about. The day of the referendum draws closer by the hour. For the sake of our children's children, we can't take the issue lightly. I'm going to be mulling this one over all the way up until voting day. For the sake of our children's children, the prospect of independence needs to be taken under careful consideration. Yes, yes. Oh, Lady Ellie. I nearly had a heart attack when I heard about those terrorists at the trade conference. My stomach has been in knots over you and Master Henry's safety ever since. Joanna, you don't need to stress yourself out about me so much. You know that I have the SSS at my side. I'll be fine, I promise. Yes, as you say, my lady. I leave Lady Ellie in your hands, special support section. The independence referendum is nearly upon us. Master Henry has been carefully considering his position on the matter. But what interests me personally is how the average crossbellum will decide to vote. It really is. Because, of course, it's not like we haven't had independence referendums in the UK of not too long. And it's closer than you think, even though S Scotland voted to stay. But I very much doubt that that would be the same if it happened again. Considering what's happened since then. It would be interesting if another vote actually took place. <laughs> ah, you. I haven't spoke to you yet. If you ask me, it's going to be much more difficult to gain independence than people realize. A couple of suzerain powers like Erebonia and Calvert would never stand for it. I understand the mayor's reasoning, but proposing something so drastic was reckless at best. Right, let's go back to... Uh, I'm going to go out to Mines, because that was where a quest awaited us. But at this point, we've only got the Entertainment Admin uh, Back Alley Orcus Tower to do. Let's do the back alley quickly then and tick that off the list. Interesting, very interesting. The debate over the independence is even less civil on the Orbal Net. The majority of people seem to be in favour of it, at the moment that is. Hmm, seems I'll have a steady stream of entertainment for a while. Let the discourse rage on, I say. Give me one of these. Oh, we need more money. <laughs> like, loads more money. Here we go get some money. Wow, I thought trading in the money that I did trade in would be good enough. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Do 300 earth, 300 water, 100 wind. God damn. Feels like this day is designed to drain my money entirely. Oh, we were there. 